Hey guys, so I normally make pre-release videos right now, but I just can't make them. I cannot force myself to make them when this is being discussed about Picotrade. Picotrade is beloved. Wizard of the Coast loves them. A lot of players support them, and it's so hard to go against Picotrade, um, given their size and who they who has made videos about them. So I don't want to take anything away from people who have... I want to let you know exactly what Pico Trade is and how they get people to make videos, sponsor videos, how they get people to do blogs. Because Pico Trade has asked me two times to make videos for them. I've turned them down. But the offer they have made both times, once in 2013 when I had less than 10 subscribers, they made an offer. For me to make a video promoting them when I had probably nine subscribers. Um, and I'll show you that offer. As well as recently for the pre-release Shadows over Innistrad. And honestly, it makes me uh, a little sick. Like I can't make these Shadows over Innistrad videos I normally make. Because of what's going on with Picotrade. And you might think it's illogical, but you know, it is illogical. Anyway, I wanted... You guys know that Pico Trade raised about sixty thousand dollars, and they delivered on nada. And one of the things that really concerns me is they are literally lying. So if you're a developer, you know that when you go on Agile as a type of development, which most developers are learning right now, or most people who go to boot camp, they learn Agile development. It's not something that just happens. Um, just the way they described it. And it's actually kind of offensive how they talked about it. But Pico Trade has not raised just one round of funding. They raised two. So back uh, way back when they started in 2013, they raised another round of funding. And the way they build up, I mean, a Pico point right now is worth less than a cent. It's worth six tenths of a cent. Previously, when they started, it was worth exactly one cent so 100 pico points for a, a dollar now it's more like 60 pico points for a dollar and it's only going to go down um before you guys say oh don't attack pico points they allow people to take salary incomes from this game because people buy them now this was a recent one february 2nd when i was approached um, and look at the way they're describing it. We have 100,000 members and we have 3 million, dollar, 3 million completed trades. I'm reaching out for you, for YouTubers like yourself, uh, because we want you, your viewers to essentially sign up for Pico Trade. Um, and then the offer is very compelling. You get, uh, you get 3,000 points. For, no, sorry. Yeah, 300 points for every person who signs up and probably you know more points as they added. Um, so he's... They decided not to go with me. Um, I'm so happy because I left a comment on MTG Degrees uh, video saying, hey, you know, I'm, I agree with you. So at that point, I had decided, no, Puker, I'm not going to sell out for you. Because, but that being said, Puker is beloved by the YouTube community. It is absolutely beloved. They have worked with um, the largest and the most famous YouTubers in our community, as well as bloggers and anyone with any pool, Pico Trade has worked with. Um, and it is very tough to go against them because just like the monthly magic box, you get a lot of people who say, hey, just because they didn't offer you, hey, they've offered me. They offered me to work with them before you in 2013. And I'll prove it in an email. And it's not just me. They give points away for any possible thing. Hey, someone send you a counterfeit? Oh, we don't care. We'll just give you points. Community manager? We'll just give you points. But what are these points doing? And where do they come from? They come from the people at the bottom of the pyramid. Like, it's not, Pico Trade's not a pyramid scheme. That's not the way it works, but it's kind of, it's a pseudo pyramid scheme. And they just give away points. So whenever there's a, hey, you sent me a counterfeit, the re resolution a lot of times is just give everyone points. You know, it has to be because it's the easiest resolution. And that's why in a very short time period, it fell. So in 2013, they asked me to work with them when I had probably less than 10 subscribers, maybe nine. I remember this time 
very well. This was on the other channel. And they were going to give me 2,500 Pico points, which translates at that time, which actually was a 100 to 1 ratio, to $25 to copy and paste an article they already wrote for me. Imagine how many points they were going to give me to make a sponsored video about Pico Trade. And I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I didn't want to do it back then because their business model, as they explained to me, I was like, wait a second. So all of these points are going to all these people. Um, what happens when, you know, what's the solution? The solution is to get more and more people, to get more and more people promoting Pico Trade. I held my tongue long enough in the lion teeth. I heard lions don't have fangs, but you know, whatever. They were out. And you know, I was actually, I mean, 2013, before it even launched, they wanted to work with me, a channel with 10 subscribers that they were going to give $25 for every post. What do you feel like they will give me now? What do you feel like they've already given people? 